Hey everyone, welcome back to Software and Chill and welcome to 2024. Hope you had a lovely Christmas and New Year. Um, thought I'd start the the channel in 2024 with a new franchise. Now a few of them I've been kind of mulling over what to do. I was thinking, what do I do? Do I watch this? Do I watch that? Do I watch the other? Um, and there was a few reasons for them. I know this franchise has been around for a long, long time. Uh, they're still going now. I think one only came out a few years ago. So I thought it's kind of like, it's, a, it's about time. I hope you're excited for it, because I am. It's something that I've been looking forward to, but I will get into it as to the reasons why I haven't. And um, yeah, and the reasons why I chose this. I'm going to start with Jurassic Park. So yeah. This one came out in 1993, and the super popular, I know that, you'll know that, everybody knows that. Now, when the first came out, I didn't see it, and then as it kind of progressed, another one came out, and then another one came out, and I think it's one of those, the longer you leave it, the harder it is, because, like, I know one only came out, I think it was Dominion, I think, came out uh, a few years ago, um, and I couldn't watch it, because I was just thinking, well, what's the point, because there's so much story behind it. Um, like, I can't, it's like, it's like jumping in, it's like watching um, anything like a Mission Impossible or something and then watching one of the last ones, you, you kind of can't do it. I, I, I don't know, can you? I, I, I guess they're not standalone movies. I guess they kind of follow some kind of pattern all the way. So, uh, yeah, I've been, I've, I have wanted to watch them. I was going to watch them with Lewis. Now, the reason why I haven't is because I've got a lot of things on at the moment with Lewis that I'm trying to watch. Now, because I, like you, you are aware that I only get him on a weekend and it's, as he's getting older, um, I only get him every other weekend as well. So it's cutting down the amount of time that I get to see him. Now, the, the, the less time I'll have with him, the less I watch. I don't want to just be kind of with him and just sit and watch this. I want to do dad stuff with him as well. So it's kind of like, it cuts down what I can put on the channel. So I need to kind of focus on what I'm already, what I'm already doing for those of you who really like what we've already done, like the Marvels, we really need to get the Marvels out. Um, and I, I'm, I'm wanting to kind of do something on the channel for myself, like a, like a franchise. So I thought, I mean, Jurassic Park would have been great. The is the Dark Knight that I want to watch with Lewis. Uh, those, those ones that I do want to see. But I thought I want to start a franchise. Um, for just for just me so i can start getting a bit more content out or a lot more can content out on the channel it was this it was going to be the mission impossibles but i thought well i'll do this and then maybe the mission impossibles but i will leave it up to you to let me know what you would like to see on the channel yeah that's where we're at that's where we are at now but i've been looking forward to seeing this over the years i've seen clips of it um i've seen i know it's got sam neil in it um Laura Linney, I think she's called. Uh, I'm not sure. I might be no. I might be completely wrong with that. Jeff Goldblum, I'm sure he's in it. Uh, is it Attenborough? I, I, I don't. I, I, I've seen clips of it over the years. Um, bits here and there. So I'm looking forward to watching the entirety, enjoying it, because it's gone for so long. That's like 30 years now. So it's got to be. It's got to be like a fan favorite. It's got to be loved. So yeah, I hope you enjoy watching along with us i want to say thank you so much for the bottom of my heart if you're here watching this with me today i do appreciate it and um, for those of you that are new to the channel i'll put a like and a subscribe button around somewhere and uh yeah for those of you that like full length reactions i will put it over on the patreon if you want to watch the full length and that's it there's nothing really else i can say uh, it's jurassic park time all i can say I'm guessing it's going to be fully action-packed. I know that's got something to do with he builds a, um, like a, like a, an amusement park, is it? An amusement park for, for dinosaurs, and I'm guessing it goes tits up. <laughs> I'm guessing. And uh, I think I've seen a clip once where there's a Tyrannosaurus Rex running, and it's kind of no, it's nudging the car as it's running, and there's a it's like trying to chase away from it. So I'm guessing it, I'm, I'm, I'm expecting it to be like exciting and fun. Um, yeah, I hope you can understand why I'm not watching it with Lewis Thoughts because I, I want to start getting more content out on the channel, and everybody wants us to watch stuff with Lewis. I know why, because he's hellish. 
dude. Went straight into it. All oh, right, these are the Jurassic Park lads. Ooh, look at that shotgun. Jesus. Is that a T-Rex? I'm looking forward to seeing kind of how the special effects work, because I'm guessing 30 years ago, I bet these were insane. 120 miles of Costa Rica, so is this where he's built his park? Jurassic Park. Sorry, sorry. Oh, I wouldn't have had somebody manually doing that. I would have had a machine. He's going to fall in, isn't he? Oh, there he goes. Oh, your legs are in. Bye, son. Oh, bye, bye. Right, so we've had our first casualty in Jurassic Park. Dear. I love the fact the way I'd, I'd like eyed him up. I've already got Ian Malcolm, but they think he's too trendy. They want Alan Grant. Grant? Well, you'll never get Whoa. him. Whoa. Loose, must Why loose. not? Muchachos, échame loose. Hey, why not? Because Grant's like me. Alan Grant. He's a digger. Oh. He's an archaeologist. Whoa! I like that. So what has it been trapped in? I forgot what it's called, but it's something kind of like kept it in place. Archaeologies. I think if you're like the first person to go down and like dig something like that up, you see like the teeth and all that starting to appear. It'd be unbelievable. Dr. Grant. So that's who he was on about, he's a digger. Whoa. I don't know how any of this works. Does she bring an immediate return? Shoot the radar into the ground and the bone bounces the image back. Bounces it back. Bird of prey. That doesn't look very scary. More like a six foot turkey. Cheers, son. Turkey. Oh no, what's she saying? Try to imagine go. yourself in the Cretaceous period. You get your first look at this six foot turkey as you enter a clearing. He moves like a bird, lightly bobbing his head. <laughs> and you keep still because you think that maybe his visual acuity is based on movement like T Rex. He'll lose you if you don't move. But no, not Velociraptor. What? You stare at him, and he just stares. So they're saying basically they don't have the T Rex That's eye where movement. Comes. Not from the front. But from the side, and the other two raptors, you didn't even know were there. Try to show a little respect. Okay. <laughs> so they're like a, they're like a, a polar bear, in effect. Like whereas, like you say, like a lion or a tiger, they yeah. go for the kill, the predators, to try to get rid of you. Whereas a polar bear will just pin you down and chew you. Yeah, I know. Kids. And they're intelligent. You want to have what the hell do you think you're doing in here? We were saving that. For today. I guarantee it. For today. And who in God's name do you think you are? John Hammond. And I'm delighted to meet you finally in person, Dr. Grant. Scottish. Now I can see that my uh, 50,000 a year has been well spent. Oh, so he's the one who pays for it. Who's the jerk? Uh, this is our... <sighs> All right, okay, so he's big boss. We won't if we get warm. Come along, sit down. Sit he's down. big boss boy. Uh, why would they care what we think? What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. Oh, right, okay, it's that's I like it. I tell you what, why don't you come down, just the pair of you, for the weekend? I'd love to have an opinion of a paleobotanist as well. <laughs> I've got a jet standing by a choco. He's super rich. We just dug up a new skeleton. Right, well, I could compensate you by fully funding your dig. Your dig? This is a... Very unusual time. For a further three years. <laughs> Jeez. Where's the pine? Because <laughs> I think paleontology and like um, 
and all that stuff, it's all about funding and government funding, isn't it? So they can get someone to do it. So he's basically just said, you come down, sort me out. And I'll, not only will I f- uh, full, like, f- refund your dig, um, I'll pay it for the next three years. So you basically, yeah, you don't have to think about funding for the next three years just to come here and take a few boxes. Dude, you would though, wouldn't you? I would. But like, right, what she said, where's the play? On delivery, 50,000 more for each viable embryo. That's 1.5 million if you get all 15 species out there. <gasps> oh, oh, you slippery remember, bitch. Viable embryos, they're no use to us if they don't survive. Oh, how am I supposed to transport them? So this is what's going to cause all the shit in the future movies. The bottom screws open. <laughs> oh, you God. It's cool to compartmentalize inside. What are you laughing at, <laughs> dickhead? Customs can even check it if they want to. Let me see. Go on. There's enough coolant inside for 36 hours. No menthol? The, em- <laughs> the embryos have to be back here in San Jose by then. So, right, he's been paid to steal all the embryos and bring them out. This is what's going to cause the shit in the, in the future movies. They're going to get them out. I wonder where it actually has been um, filmed. Oh, fences. So you'll have to let me know. I know it's an old movie, but did you just go to the pictures to see it? Did you go to the cinema? Did you, uh, did you watch it when it first came out? What was your experiences of it? Because I like the way it started. I like the music. I like kind of how they're building the characters so far. So this has been pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to say something. See the way the driver's just like looking as it's like so nonchalantly. Oh, here we go. It's a big, oh yeah, there's a big, uh, big reveal. They would have heard that, but whoa. I bet these special effects were fucking awesome. Sorry for swearing. Were awesome back then. It's, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> the dinosaur. Whoa. Look how big it is. Oh, I love the way they've done that with the special effects where you get to see the tree move. That's very clever. They've added like the CGI. We're going to make a fortune with this. Are <laughs> oh, you right, lawyer? All right, cheers. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Okay, that, I like, that was a great scene. Whoa. Wouldn't you be pissed off if you were like a paleontologist? And you just think that oh, that's it, your career's done. That's it. What's the point of digging up anymore? I mean, I know you would, but you'd automatically think I'm, I'm not needed. My, uh, my life's work is now like you've just built what I try to uncover. Unless you find a new species. I bet that scene was huge 30 years ago. G'day, g'day, g'day. Now, That's on. the most advanced amusement park in the entire world. In Co- we just had to know where to look. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes. Just like today. Whoa, yes. Just like today, they fed on the blood of animals. I thought that block had a hold of. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sap. The sap. After a long time, the tree sap would get hard and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur. They get that, open it up, and then they've got the blood. Inside, we use the complete DNA of a frog to fill in the holes. And complete this. Why did they choose a frog? Is that, is that, does it like have a, a certain DNA kind of. I don't know. Is it different? This score is only temporary. It all has very dramatic music, of course. Boom, boom, boom. Well, a march or something. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That chick helps them to trust me. Careful. I've been present for the birth of every little creature on this island. <laughs> Doesn't. <laughs> Surely not the ones that are bred in the in the wild. Yeah. Actually, they can't breed in the wild. The population control is one of our security precautions. There's no unauthorized breeding in Jurassic Park. Unauthorized breeding. <laughs> and how do you know they can't breed? Well, because all the animals in Jurassic Park are female. Oh. 
What? We've engineered them that way. <laughs> but all females. It's not possible. Listen, if there's one thing the history of evolution has taught us, it's that life will not be contained. Life breaks free, it expands to new territories, and it crashes through. I wonder if they painfully, make them all girls. But uh, you're implying that a group composed entirely of female animals will breed? No, I'm I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. Life finds a way. It's a velociraptor. Ooh. Bread raptors. They're the ones he was talking about before. With that kid. The ones that he said that were super, like, they're really intelligent and the fight from the sides in packs. Dude. Do they show intelligence? With the brain cavity, they show extreme too, intelligence. Even problem solving intelligence. Whoa. That, these are the ones that are going to cause the issue. We bred eight originally, but when she came in, she took over the pride and killed all but two of the others. That one, when she looks at you, you can see she's working things out. Well, we can charge anything we want, 2,000 a day, 10,000 a day, and people will pay it. And then there's the merchandise. I mean, I can personally Donald, agree. Donald. This park was not built to cater only for the super. Yes. Everyone in a the lawyer, the greedy right bitch. These sure, they will. I mean, what, we'll have a, a coupon day or something. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I had a lack of humility before nature that's being displayed here. Um, staggers. Me. I like Jeff. Well, thank and you, this. Dr. Malcolm, but I think things are a little bit different than I'm you gonna call him Jeff. Here. Yeah, I know, they're a lot worse. Now, wait a second. Now, we haven't even seen the part where you feel. Donald, let them talk. This isn't, this isn't some species that was obliterated by deforestation or, or the building of a dam. Dinosaurs uh, uh, had their shot, and nature selected them. For extinction. Ooh. I simply don't understand this yes. right attitude, especially from Do a scientist. Natural selection. Gone. In the light of discovery and, and not action. It seems like it's all money. Discovery. It's a violent, penetrative act that scars what it explores, what you call discovery. I call the rape of the natural world. Dinosaurs and man, two species separated by 65 million years of evolution, just been suddenly thrown back into the mix together how can we possibly have the slightest idea what to expect completely true all three points <laughs> i don't believe it you're meant to come down here and defend me against these characters and the only one i've got on my side is the blood-sucking lawyer <laughs> thank you <laughs> we'll have a coupon dear piss off samuel it's big bad Sam. Surprise, mother! I bet he, don't, I bet he doesn't say that. So, I've really enjoyed the concept so far. They've been brought down to kind of just endorse the park. The lawyer's there. He's the one who was all there. The investors, and then um, somebody's obviously died. So they've they've kind of like who's wants twenty million of this of the family. But he wouldn't bring his uh, grandkids. Until it's been given the all clear, surely. Wow. He yawned. It must be quite scary for like, especially if you're like someone who's grown up looking at the bones of them. That's your job. And then all of a sudden you see real live ones that would just be mind blown. Oh, she's really, she's upset. Well, you would be, you'd be shocked. When I was a kid, and now I see it's just the most thing I ever saw. That storm center hasn't dissipated or changed course. It's the storm that's going to cause it. I have to cut the tour short, I'm afraid. Pick it up again tomorrow where we left off. Are you sure we have to? It's not worth taking the chance, John. Well, to stay in Winch 45 Tell them when we get back in the cars. So. Yep. Sure. Ladies Thanks and gentlemen, you. last shuttle leaving for the dock leaves in approximately five minutes. Drop what you're doing and leave now. Shit. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> damn. Close enough. Look at him, man. He loves it, doesn't he? Oh, look at that. A bit stinks. So she's gonna. One big pile of shit. <laughs> she's she's gonna check what she's been eat, what he's been eating. Oh my god, she's fucking going hands deep. You're right. There's no trace of lilac berries. It's so odd, though. Oh, uh, I uh, finished debugging the phones. 
Uh, I, you know, I, I was going to debug, so I did. I, I, you know, told me that, so I, I debugged the phones. And uh, I thought maybe, uh, well, I should tell you that the uh, system is going to be uh, compiling for uh, 18 to 20 minutes. So some of the minor systems, they might go on and off for a while, but it's nothing to worry about. It's just a simple thing. He looked so dodgy there. Execute. And this is what's going to cause the ship. Got 18 minutes. This is what's going to cause all of the shit. It's always one greedy bastard. So, is this is this what caused uh, the whole of the the Jurassic Park movies? The him doing this. Oh my god, he's trying. Trinosaurus, he's basically getting an embryo of every one. Velociraptor. Whoa. You greedy bitch. It's actually quite clever how he's done it and how they've given it in the bottom of that can, though. Because it's staying, like, cool. Oh! The, all the things are open, like, all the alarms are going off, like, and it's stopping the, the light. The sensor... Oh, shit. Check the vending machine. This could be bad. Dude. This is pretty bad, like, to be fair, when you work it out. This is where it's gonna go. This shit's gonna kick off now, isn't it? Because all the fences are down. I'd want to be anywhere but that island about now. Thank you very much. The thought of being on that awesome. island would not do it to us. Nara said to stay put. Kids okay? I didn't ask. Why wouldn't they be? People, I think it's about to go down now. We've had a bit of calm. It is a min an hour and two minutes into the movie. I think the shit's about to go. Maybe it's the power trying to come back on. I don't think it is. I think it's a, 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 it's a dinosaur. Fucking dinosaur walking about outside. Oh my god, it's dead. It's been chewed. Oh, no. oh it's a T-Rex and it's fucking huge. Oh, dinner time. Don't make a sound. Don't, don't do anything. Don't, oh, you're running. It'll see ya. The T-Rex is a, it's visual though, isn't it? Whoa, that's good. Special effects. Boy, my head being right all the time. It's right outside the car. Just let it go. Yeah, don't just let it go. Don't move. Absolutely. Just don't move. Chill. Suspicion is based on. Don't do anything! Oh, they're gonna do something. What is he doing? Oh my god, I wanna do Fucking Jesus Christ almighty. Are they just watching from the other car? For fuck's sake, man. Oh, it's Jeff. My name's Jeff. They're just standing watching. My god, that was a special effect are unbelievable. Compared to 30 years ago, that's insane. What are they doing? They're just standing fucking watching? I don't get that. It's looking at the light. Didn't it looked at the light and then it still followed up to him? Oh, Ian's trouble. Oh, he's Ian's in. No. Oh, 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 oh. oh, you chewed and thrown. Oh my god, your fucking intestines are going to be falling out. They're not gonna go down there. Oh, they might be like. How slippery would that 
They're gonna start pushing the car, the cars. The fact that it's, it makes it worse because it's raining. <laughs> Timmy's in the car. Jesus Christ. Base minus old, key check off, safety minus old, he's turning the safety systems off. He does. Oh, Dennis, man, for the last picture. We're gonna get eaten. Dennis is in so much trouble. I don't think he'll go, it won't kill him off right now, but I do think he's gonna die eventually. He's stuck. Oh, there it is. He didn't have much time though, they said he, they can't, they can't promise anything anyway. I think they're gonna be gone. Ooh, you're dead. That's nice. Gotta go. Cheers. Let's hope they're not uh, carnivores. <laughs> dead now. You dead? <laughs> Holy <laughs> fucking shit! <laughs> Ooh, is that like a killing call? <laughs> <laughs> In your eyes. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's dropped that as well. That's over. Done. He's never found that again. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's covered now. So no matter what happens, that won't get out of there. Oh, cool. I thought that might have been the reason why it kind of like moves on in the in the movies. Guess I was wrong. Dennis is done. But they said they can't get um, Samuel. Sam, Samuel. They said he can't get uh, Jurassic Park back online unless they've done it. Unless I had Dennis, he's dead. If she finds the car empty that one's been pushed off there and there's bits of bodies everywhere <clears throat> but it's a oh there it is it'll, follow, it'll run after yeah put your foot down son whoa look at that you fucking shit yourself Objects in the mirror are closer than you think. <laughs> Look out! Go! I think they'll have that on the tour. <laughs> I love the fact that he, all he's had to do is give like quick one-liners. Loves it. Is this gonna kind of like make him have a different outlook on kids? Because I've kind of made a point of him not liking children. Did you like climbing trees as a kid? Or any of those of you out there? I was a tree climber. My playground was outside in the woods. I've really enjoyed it so far. It's been a lot different than I thought it was going to be. It's more, um, more like intense. I thought it would be fun, but it's quite intense. Oh, I bet that's, that's strange now. What are you and Ellie gonna do now if you don't have to pick up dinosaur bones anymore? I don't know, I guess. I guess we'll just have to evolve, too. That is weird, because he's been looking at that as if, like, that's how he explains what a velociraptor is. It's all an illusion. When we have control you again. You never had control. That's the illusion. Yes. I was overwhelmed by the power of this place. But I made a mistake, too. I didn't have enough respect for that power, and it's out now. Luckily, it's just on the island, though. It's just the island. Alan and Lex and Tim. John, they're out here where people are dying. There's eggs. You know what this is? It's a dinosaur egg. That's what the fuck? The dinosaurs. 
They said it was impossible. They haven't even opened it yet in the shagging. Some West African frogs been known to spontaneously change sex from male to female in a single sex environment. What? Malcolm was right. Look. Surely they would have. Surely the DNA. Surely. Surely the geneticists would have like known that about the frogs, though. Come on, people. I found the way. They would have been like, right, well, let's. Why don't we just try to find DNA from an animal that can't change sex? Out of your mind. He's absolutely out of his mind. Theoretically, yes, but we've never shut down the entire system before. It may not come back on at all. Well, will yeah. we get the phones back? Yes, again, in theory. Get everything back. What about the lysine contingency? We could put that into effect. What's that? That is absolutely out of the question. What? The lysine contingency is intended to prevent the spread of the animals in case they ever get off the island. Kill them all. Dr. Wu inserted a gene that creates a single faulty enzyme in protein metabolism. The animals can't manufacture the amino acid lysine. Unless they're completely supplied with lysine by us, they slip into a coma and die. People are dying. Ah, uh, you've got to do what you, you've got to do. What you've got to do. Can you please shut down the system. Do what you've got to do. They're shutting down everything. <laughs> it's been really good. It's been unexpectedly good. Oh, oh, with it. I think I've seen this clip. Yeah. He says the flocking this way. I think. The flocking. Okay. Oh. Whoa! Oh, y'all caught. <laughs> Sting it. Do you know who we haven't seen yet? We haven't seen the velociraptors. Please. But you never look at birds the same way again. Yeah. We haven't got. I thought. I thought the velociraptors would be out in force by now. Okay. Keep oh no, there isn't a lot of them though, there isn't this. She he said something about the fact that she killed a few of them. Like, I think there's only th including the the the, the female that brought in, there's two left. So there was eight. Oh no. Yes. I kind of really been looking forward to that because these have been built up. I wonder where this was filmed. I mean I mean I'm sure there'll be a lot of CGI backdrop, but some of it's real. Mr. Hemst, I think we're back in business. <laughs> Ooh, how the fuck did that get in there? It's a, it's a mm. raptor. Jesus, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, God, it's a full on velociraptor fighting. <laughs> oh my god, we've got an Arnold arm. How did they get in there, people? Run, Run. Run all right. Run, bitch. Run? Uh, broccoli, her. Yes, Timmy, he knows. <laughs> what she's saying? <laughs> what she's saying? See the way the Velociraptor's head is behind. I like that. I got to follow. Oh my god! I love that scene. That was really good. She just kind of shit herself. So out with the jelly, and then it showed you the picture of the Velociraptor, but the shadow behind was the Velociraptor. Clever. Oh no, the know-how to open doors. I like the little jump there. Unless you know how to open doors, then they just jump back. Here we go. Pick it out. Bang! <laughs> Jimmy, what is it? It's a fucking raptor. Ooh. Go on, Timmy, lad. Oh, my God, it's like a, like a slippery drain. You can't get out. <laughs> yes, lass. 
Oh, no, you're not. You're not getting out now. You're locked in. Huh? Cheers for scaring us after bits. Oh. I love the fact that it's looking. It's not even like running. It's like it's calculating. I guess we finished. Ooh! <laughs> kick the kick the have you ever kicked the velociraptor in the head? Fucking Jesus Christ! Pick a rope, man. Pick a rope. She's gonna lose a foot. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was so good. Whoa, that was good. They're all falling. My God, they were going to be in so. My God, fucking hell, it's going to land on a head. Jesus Christ, lucky. They're in trouble, they like. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking T-Rex came to save the day. All oh, the Velociraptors are going for the T-Rex because of what it's just done. Mr. Hammond, after careful consideration, I've decided not to endorse your <laughs> So have I. So have I. <laughs> Whoa, that was really good. Oh, you're deaded. <laughs> Whoa. When dinosaurs ruled the earth, there's a nice little thing that to drop down. Wow, that was a good scene, but there's one Velociraptor left. It's not on the plane, it's not on the helicopter, is it? No, this isn't aliens, come on, Kev. They're like, in the boot. Remember what you said about endorsing us for a few years? Can I have your checkbook? Did that, had to do that for a reason, didn't they say that, like, he hated kids, and now all of a sudden, like, he doesn't anymore. He might, he might decide to have a kid now. God, that was good. That was really, really good. Unexpectedly good. Well, not unexpected. I kind of expected it to be good. Mm, I like the way they've done that as well. That's quite kind of like, you go back to see the, you know, the species in our own time. For the past like few hours we've been seeing uh, ones that you don't really want to encounter on a daily basis. Is that it? Is that how it's going to end? Oh, it's opened the door. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was brilliant. Okay. So, um, first impressions. I absolutely loved that. Um, it was a lot different, kind of what I thought it was going to be. I knew that it would have, it would be special effect. I knew that it would be action packed. Um, I thought the way they did the storyline, uh, that was a really good part the way the storyline was kind of put together as to how it happened. It's more like mosquitoes had uh, been kind of chomping on uh, dinosaurs of the past, being caught in tree sap and then kind of like like frozen in time, so to speak, for, for God knows how long. And then when they were digging, that's why we saw that, you know, the guy go, uh, got got that out and they were drilling it. And it showed you that's how they were able to get the, the, the DNA. Um, but yeah, I think Hammond was a little bit... Uh, he was extremely wealthy, obviously, but... Tried to play God a little bit too much. I loved Jeff Goldblum's character. I thought he was brilliant. Um, more like, yeah, like a rock and roll style type of, uh, like, paleontologist or mathematician that said he was, wasn't he? Uh, but yeah, I liked his character. Um, there was a few parts that jumped out that I, that I loved. Um, probably the first bit where the with the, the, the goat and the T-Rex. Uh, and then the T-Rex is running after them. I thought that was pretty intense, where it's run, uh, chasing after them and they were driving. Uh, and it was trying to hit the car and then it like it ran through that tree branch. I thought that was brilliant. Um, I also loved the part where uh, she was trying to shut the, the door and you didn't realize it, the Velociraptor was running. And then uh, it didn't realize it was the reflection. I thought that was good. Also with her when she fell through, and it's near the end, and they managed to just pull her up. As so you saw like the Velociraptor land on its back and then got up and jumped just as it pulled up. So there was a lot of tension, a lot of um, a lot of fun, but there was a lot of one-liners. There was a lot of like humor in it as well. Um, 
So overall, I mean, I thought it was brilliant. I did, I did have a feeling that we're going to highlight the the Velociraptors. The whoever, I mean, I, I guess Spielberg, maybe. He directed it. I don't know if it was written or uh, whoever it was written by, but I think they had a little bit of an affinity for for the Velociraptor because it seemed to be more of the the main, you know, main dinosaur that the that they focused on. You know, even um, even like Sam Neill, he was talking about the well, Grant. Even he was talking about the um, the Velociraptor to that kid who was taking the piss. Um, and then, you know, the beginning, I think the, the first death we saw, is, I think they were Velociraptors because they, they seemed to be Velociraptors. Um, but I just thought, I thought it was brilliant how they did that. Another great scene was when the, um, where the Velociraptors killed the, the guy with the shotgun um, because that's kind of what they did. They kept the eye contact and then, you know, just before you realise it, They've come in from the side because they're pack hunters, but very intelligent. Um, I thought it was brilliant. I really did. You have to let us know in the comment section what you thought of it. Whether um, did you watch it recently? I know I mentioned that uh, while we we're watching it, but did you did you watch it recently? Did you see it when it came out? Have you watched it multiple times? Have you seen it when you were young and then watched it with your children? I don't know. Um, I'll probably watch. It. I'll probably watch this with Lewis. I think, but I'll probably watch this just separately because uh, I think unless he's, I don't think he has seen it. But I'm really, really looking forward to the second one now. I don't know how long the break was. I don't know whether it's still directed by Spielberg. I don't know which characters were kept. And I don't know what they're going to do next. Um, If I'm a guessing man, they'll probably have to go back to the island. Because that's where they all are. They'll probably come away. And then... Yeah, they'll have to go back. Because that's going to be kind of... That place is now kind of like full of dinosaurs. So they're going to have to go back. Yeah. So that'll be interesting. Kind of really want to watch that now. Because I enjoyed that so much. So I, I, th I think that's going to be brilliant to watch again. And I, um, to watch another one of these again. Uh, I think that would be great. That would be great. I'm hoping to keep the same people. That would be fun. Um, especially uh, Jeff Goldblum. Because he's really funny. But... Um, Again, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, if this is your first time at the channel, um, I do have a bit of a goal, so I do apologise. But if this is your first time at the, at the channel and you like what you see, um, I'll leave a playlist for some of the other stuff that I have seen. I will put a subscribe button up there. Like I say, I'll put this all over on the Patreon. And uh, I'll see you all very, very soon for the next movie.